were missing being able to go to the beach so we decided we were gonna build one in our house so we have a sky with a few clouds and our carpet kind of looks like the sand and then we have a blanket down here to be the water hey Ian and Meredith you guys ready to help me set up the rest of the yeah, stuff yeah. okay let's go okay let's set up our stuff let's go get the rest of our beach stuff Can you guys get comfortable for our Bible story? Yeah, you no know fishers yet. You know what? Today's Bible story takes place on a beach. So it's a good thing we set up a beach in our basement, isn't it? Now we need to make clothes. Now we need to make Okay. And today's story is from the book of John, chapter 21, verses 1 That's through 14. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. and have been waiting and waiting for them to bloom. I think today's the day, but I'm afraid to look and see. Maybe there are so many flowers that I won't even be able to walk in the clubhouse. That might be too many flowers. Maybe the flowers have grown so big and tall that they're hitting the top of the clubhouse. That might be too tall for a flower. <sighs> Okay, here I go. It's time to look. Do you want to look with me? Cover your eyes and count to three with me. Go ahead, cover your eyes. Now let's count to three. One, two, three. Wow, oh wow, they bloomed and they're perfect. Not too many and not too tall. They're just right. These are absolutely perfect. Do you know why? My grandma has a spot on her windowsill that will be just right for these flowers. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What beautiful flowers. I love that blue. I'm going to give them to my grandma when I have breakfast at her house. What a wonderful breakfast for you. I know about another special breakfast, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> okay, guys, great walk today. Now it's time for breakfast. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. <laughs> you guys say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Barkley and Goldie. We've been out on a long walk today, and everyone is hungry. Do you like breakfast? <laughs> Me too. Do you like to eat waffles? Do you like cereal? Do you like fish? Some people have fish for breakfast, just like the people in today's true story from the Bible. Today, we're going to talk about what happened after Easter. Easter started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No, he came back just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Well, not long after that, some of Jesus' friends were fishing when all of a sudden, they saw Jesus standing on the beach. Jesus is alive. They were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. Ready? <laughs> yes, the disciples were so excited. And Jesus told his friends to come and have breakfast with them right there on the beach. They were so happy to be with their good friend Jesus again. And they knew that he loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? 
Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too forever and ever. How awesome is that? Jesus is alive and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and he wants to be your friend forever, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus came back just like he said he would. Then he had breakfast with his friends and told them he wants to be their friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can't wait to give my flowers to my grandma at breakfast. I can tell her that Jesus is alive and that he ate breakfast with his friends too. Ooh, I hope grandma's gonna make pancakes and bacon, yum! Wow, what a great story. Now we know who's alive? Jesus! Who's alive, Meredith? Jesus! Jesus, that's right. Even though Jesus' friends had to wait for him, he came back just like he promised he would. Oh, kids, we would love to see your pictures that you share with us on Facebook of a beach you created. Maybe you could build a beach like this at your house, or you could color a picture with crayons or markers and send it to us. Would you like to see their pictures of their beaches, Ian? Yeah! How about you, Meredith? Would you like to see their pictures? Yes, yeah! Yeah! Send us your pictures of the beaches that you created. Maybe you could enjoy some goldfish crackers. Yeah. You can build up the goldfish like we're having because Jesus ate fish in the story when he had breakfast with his friends. But now... Friends, it's time for us to close our eyes and let's talk to God. Let's pray. Can you guys fold your hands? Um, uh, why Meredith, do we do this? Can you? Because we're talking to God. Can you fold your hands, please, Meredith? Ian's ready. Meredith, are you ready? Okay. Repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you that Jesus is alive. Thank you that Jesus is alive. Thank you that he loves us. Thank you that he loves us. Thank you that he wants to be our friend forever. Thank you that he loves to be our friend forever. God, you are the best. God, you are the best. And we love you. In Jesus' name. Thank you.